Hey guys, in this video, we will be going to take a look how we can add a peer to the running hybrid fabric network. So before moving ahead, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel. And for this tutorial, we will be going to leverage the fabric samples test network example. And that uh, example comes with the two organization with one one peer each. And in this video, we will be going to add one peer on the org one so that we will be going to have three peers by the end of this video. So uh, I have already cloned the fabric samples uh, repository and uh, you can see if I do ls in my terminal, you can see uh, we have all those files and as well as I have opened this uh, repository, uh, this basically this, this test network folder in my VS code. So now let's first start by running up the network. So let's let me go to the test network directory and here let's run the script. Uh, which will basically create the channel. Let's hit enter. So this is going to create a channel and both the peers, peer zero of org one, and as well as peer zero of uh, org two are going to join the channel. Okay, so our network is up and running and our peers has joined the channel. And now let's deploy the chain code as well. So to deploy the chain code, we have to run this script, which is uh, network.sh then deploy, deploy CC. And then we have to give the chain code name using this hyphen CC and flag, then the chain code path using hyphen CCB flag, and then uh, the language over which the chain code is written. So our chain code that we are going to use is our Golang. So we are passing that using this hyphen CCL flag, which is chain code language. And let's hit enter. So this chain code will be installed on both the peers, peer zero of org one and peer zero of org two. Okay, so we can see that it is installed on peer zero of org one now. So let's wait for it to install on peer zero of org two. Okay, so our chain code is installed on both the peers. And now let's uh, export some environment variables. Let's set up the environment variables. Uh, so here we have uh, exported all the environment variables that are required in order to invoke the chain code. Or let me just clear up this phase. And now uh, let's source the environment variable as well. So let me run this command source scripts and then uh, envvad.sh and now we can set the flags for the peer 0 of org 1 so set global 1 and now let's try to let me just clear up this and now let's try to invoke the chain code so now let me just put up the command to invoke the chain code let's hit enter here we can see that the chain code was invoked successfully and uh, we can just query the chain code as well so basically what we did is here, we tried to create an asset with ID as 100 and then the color was red and this was I think uh, the size and then this was the owner name and then the last parameter was the appraised value. So this is basically that asset uh, transfer chain code that we are using here. We passed the, all the required arguments and the chain code is invoked successfully. Let's try to query this as well. So let me put up the command for query and let's hit enter. So here we can see that uh, when we ran this query uh, command, which is peer chain code query, then we got the response here that whatever we stored on to the ledger, we got here. Let me run this again. And this time let me format it as well. So here we can see that we are getting those details that we actually stored inside the chain code. So this is fine till here we did nothing special so we just ran the test network with two peers and uh, then we tried to invoke the chain code and query the chain code as well so now uh, let's start uh, the preparation for uh, adding a new peer so first of all what we have to do is we have to create the identities for that peer that we are going to add to our network so for this i have already created one script let me show you that script as well so here in the VS code, if we go to this organization directory and after that we go to this fabric CA folder 
there i have one script which is uh, register peer one org one dot sh so basically this script is going to create the identities for peer one of org one and uh, one another change that i have done is that i have added one uh, docker compose file so if you take a look at this file that i just added docker compose hyphen peer one org one dot yaml and basically this file is uh, is identical to uh, what we have in that this file this is testnet but uh, just that this has a definition for peer one of org one and all the other thing are as it's so just uh, we are, i have made the changes to the port and mounted the correct uh, uh, directories uh, into the container so now let's start by creating up the those certificate and then we will going to uh, spin up this docker compose file so here let me just run this script which is inside organization then fabric ca and then register uh, peer1 org1.sh so here our certificate got created and now let's just uh, create that docker compose file as well so docker compose and then we have to give the file name so this is where our file is present and then up and then hyphen d so what docker container is also there we can just check it using docker ps and then i can grab for uh, peer containers only so here we can see that this is the container that just right now spinned up just 14 seconds ago and uh, uh, so now uh, let me just clear this terminal and let's do one thing uh, let's try to query the ch uh, channels what channels we have and we will also going to see the leisure height as well so let's try to do that and to do this we will be going to use our peer zero of org one to query the channel as well as uh, query the blocks that are present inside the channel and then similarly we will be going to do this uh, channel querying part from the new peer that we just added and see if that channel is present there or not so for that the command is peer channel list and here we can see that uh, we got the channel and this channel is coming from peer zero of org one and let me do let me run one more command which is peer channel get info this will basically give us the height of our uh, channel that the number of blocks this channel has and then the name of the channel which is my channel so here we can see that the height is currently seven which means that we have seven blocks currently in this channel and now let's try to query uh, this uh, channels from the peer zero peer one of org one that we just uh, created right now so let me query that using this uh, we have to basically pass this environment variable and we can see that when we run this command code peer address localhost colon 8050 peer channel list we can see that peer one of org one does not have any channel and if we try to query the channel height as well again that will not work because uh, the channel is not there let me try it localhost colon 8051 and then the command was peer channel get info hyphen c my channel it will give some error to us because this channel does not exist there so we can see that we are getting an error that invalid chain id because this channel does not exist so now let's make the peer one of org one to join the channel which is my channel so let me put up the command for that here and if we run this command there we can see that it has uh, successfully joined the channel here and now let's again try to run that command which was uh, listing out the channel for this peer so this time uh, if we run this command that uh, peer channel list we can see that we are getting this channel which is my channel and let's query the leisure height as well so the command was this whole thing peer channel list get info hyphen c my channel so let's hit enter so here we can see that we are getting the height as 7 and for peer 0 of org 1 we are also getting the height as 7 so let me clear up this segment now So now uh, let's install the chain code on the peer one of org one as well. 
let me just uh, put up the command for that so here if you take a look at this command first i am exporting the chain code name which was basic uh, which is basic in our case and then we are running this command which is uh, peer life cycle chain code install then the chain code name and uh, we are not packaging up the chain code we are not building up the chain code because the chain code was already packaged when we started up the network so we don't have to uh, do that step again we can leverage that uh, already uh, built package chain code package and can install them so here we can see that the chain code installed successfully and we also got the chain code package id this one so now let's try to query the installed chain code in this peer so if i run this command uh, which is uh, peer chain code query installed and we have to pass this environment variable for that peer uh, one of org one and here we can see that we got the uh, package id for the chain code that installed with label as basic and then the version number which is 1.2 so let me just clear up this and now we can just invoke the chain code uh, that we installed uh, when we set up the network so this is the this is the command uh, to invoke the chain code and this time uh, we just uh, pass the id as 200 and all the other details were same as is uh, that we kept for the uh, last uh, invocation when we invoke through peer 0 of org 1 and we can see that the invocation was successful uh, we our chain code was invoked successfully and now let's try to query the chain code as well so now let me just clear up this and let me just put up the command for query so this is the command and uh, if i just hit enter here we can see that we are trying to read the state of this asset with id as 200 that we just created right now and we got all the values that were stored against this id so uh, let's just query this again and let me just pipe it to jq so that we can see in a better way here we can see all those details and let's try to invoke the chain code one more time so this was the command and this time let me just uh, put some different id so this time let me give us 300 as the id and if i try to hit enter we can see that uh, invocation was successful and here if you carefully look at this command which is peer chain code invoke so for the endorsement so since this chain code is running on and uh, endorsement policies we have to pass the uh, majority of endorsement and here if you take a look at this statement where we are passing the endorsers uh, address and their uh, root certificates so here if you take a look at this section we are passing up the uh, peers uh, one of org one and as well as uh, the second address that we are passing is peer 0 of org 2 so we are uh, making the endorsement against peer 1 of org 1 and peer 0 of org 2 let's try to query the this transaction that we just created uh, this is having id as 300 so yeah we can see we got all the uh, details that were captured against this id so hope you enjoyed this video if you have any doubts or any queries just feel free to drop them into the comment box uh, I will definitely try to answer them and uh, if you enjoyed this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.